Alright, we are back playing some more Borderlands 2. Uh, we just have to turn in uh, both of these quests here that we just did. Uh, let's see. Oh, took a wrong turn on Albuquerque. Okay. So I know hopefully we get some good wep or, uh, good weapons on for these both of these quests and uh, some experience. We'll probably level up to level 10 while we're at it. What the fuck? Wow, I got some error. Okay, anyways. And then we will continue on with the main storyline and hopefully make this city fly in the air. However, that's going to work. But that's what Scooter wants to do, and whatever Scooter wants to do, he does. So. <laughs> okay. I love how my car just disappears. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at the sky. That is one deep orange sky. Okay. Nope, we're supposed to get out of here. Once again, I'm directionally deficient. <clears throat> oh yeah, strip club. Woo! Vault Hunter, how good to see you again. Thanks for the thorough drubbing you delivered upon Captain Flint. I was able to leave the southern shelf and get back to the... Yeah, just got done killing uh, the boner farts for you. Help me out. No problem. Bullymon's still rubbish, but I'll come up with something better before I launch the almanac. I'm certain I will. So what's this? A coach gun? Is that a shotgun? <laughs> kind of looks like a shotgun. Um, probably can go with the shield. It's probably me more useful to me right now. Because I do need a new shield. Skin unlocked. Boom. Okay, so... Yeah, this is definitely one of the better... It has a little bit less recharge delay, but... Or a little bit more, I should say. But it deals burn damage when it's... Uh, to melee attackers, so that's really use useful as... Uh, <coughs> as zero... Vehicle skin? Oh, yep, that was just the one I just unlocked. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's switch to this quest and turn it then. Oh, we got some badass tokens we can... Let's do... That. Let's do gun damage. Let's do... Um... Reload speed, that's something we definitely need. Alright, there we go. Oh, and then we also leveled up. That's going to be useful later on. Wait, hold on, we have to turn this other quest on so we can... There we go. What do I get? A pistol or an SMG? Uh, SMG is worth more. I'll take it. Meaning I could probably sell that pistol. All the news that's fit to lie about. Oh my god, he's just a terrible character. Now. Holy shit. Okay, let's sell some shit. Uh, what do we want to sell? We want to sell this. Keep that. Sell that. That. Broom cleaner just sucks. I don't like it at all. We'll keep that. Uh, keep both of those. <laughs> Alright, set to go. So, on with the main quest. Wrong way. Whoops. Vault Hunter, get in. Roland left a message for you. God, these half body suits of armor. Look at that. That's just that that doesn't make any sense. Oh well. This game doesn't have to make sense. It's fucking awesome. I got a good feeling about you.
Really, they couldn't just unlock the door from the inside? There's people in here. Oh, that's Tannis. That's Patricia Tannis. Yes, storage deck upgrade. So we gotta carry. Well, where did that go? Where did the upgrade go? It didn't automatically put it in there. Come on. Fuck. You're in this. I'm in trouble. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet. Where did Tannis go? She disappeared. Oh, there she is. I left info about my oh, she's a doctor so now. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Uh, 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 uh. My research is going swimmingly. Potions notwithstanding. Your help's not required. Okay, then. She doesn't have very much to say for being one of the main characters in Borderlands 1. Hopefully there's a shit ton of cash. What am I supposed to do? Just retrieve stuff from it. Okay then. That's cool. There's safes in this game. That's that's really. I think there's a safe that you can buy in an extension of Borderlands. One. What the fuck was that? Was that a Grim Reaper on fire? Oh crap! Oh shit. Oh god, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to face the Firehawk. That does not sound pleasurable. Who is knocking? Yeah, let's just jam our fists into a rotating fan. Oh, there's Claptrap. Gee, thanks. Still fucking call me Minion, you bitch. You helped me reach sanctuary, minion, and for that, you deserve a reward. I have a secret stash hidden very, very far away from where I currently am. In order to find it, you will have to perform a series of devious challenges. First, collect a few brown rocks for me. Then, defeat Why the would you need brown rocks? Then, Come on. Pilfer the lost staff of Mount Schuler. Then, you shall bring me the head of the destroyer of worlds. And then, you shall dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay then. Well, sure thing. Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a secret stash. Looks like the hiding space for my super secret stash just <laughs> leaving it completely exposed. And there's nothing in there, you so, bitch. Congratulations! <laughs> You successfully subverted my meticulously planned challenges. Why don't you go check out the stash? There's nothing in the stash, you little bitch. Even though you didn't bring me what I asked for, I decided to let you use that stash to share weapons between my minions. Specifically the ones that, um, that you control. Look, it's for twinking items between your characters. Wow, that is really, really, really cool. Holy shit. So basically what he just said is that you can put your uh, items or weapons in stashes like this. And you can go make another character. And you can go to the stash right here and you can take take, take, take out the items. Like, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, before in Borderlands 1 you had to go split screen. And then you had to drop a weapon and pick it up, whatever. But this is just a lot easier. You can actually share weapons with your characters. And I mean, that's just not saying, like, if you have, if you're level 50 and you have, like, a sniper that is 900 damage, it's not like, hey, give it to level 1 and you have a gun that can do 900 damage at level 1. You have to be a certain level, you know, but still, it's really cool. Oh, there's Ned, or Zed. Oh, what is that, his assistant? What the fuck is Claptrap doing? That sucks. Hey, I got a perfectly legal and not shady job. Hey, Roland's boys caught this high period. Huh. Messed up his love. 
gave me surgery bad. My Get God. Over. You're gonna be my operating assistant. Perform All surgery. Right, make a Great. Just below his sternum, but be careful. We don't want to nick the coronary artery. Oh my God. What am I doing? Perform surgery. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Iridium shard offer. How many times I tell you idiots, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. Didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff. She ain't acting all forty toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff here for you. All right. Uh, so I guess Tannis is there to refine stuff. God is my witness. One day I will find a usable spleen. One day I'll get out. Come here, Tannis, you bitch. As I've said, Roland. Now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of Wait. Open up for sycophants and products of incest. After hours of scientific insanity, you could only imagine in your dreams or in my bed standing over, I have deduced that Jack, the vault key, and the iridium are all connected on a deeper level. Come on back whenever you need some healing. As long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. <laughs> okay then, uh, well let's just go. I bet he has, he has another mission for me. God, just everything Claptrap does in this game just makes me laugh. Okay. Come here, Ned. Looking or Zed. Work? You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? I freaking don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapons caught. Don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also, unlike me, he didn't actually has a medical license. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to cut the video here. Be sure to subscribe, and we will go ahead and do the next quest and the next video. See you guys later.